Hello and welcome to the review. I am Dave Bach and today we're going to take a look at two manual real lawnmowers. These are not the mowers your great grandfather would have used. They're both 20 inches wide, have a second set of wheels, and provide easy cutting height adjustment. We're going to take a look at the yard works, which we picked up for $40 that the previous owner said was used once. And we'll take a look at the Scott's Classic, which we picked up for just $35. We're told it's around 10 years old and sharpened once. On my initial push, it was obvious that the Scots was going to need an adjustment as it wasn't cutting as well on the right side and also needed to be sharpened. The Yardworks was a different story altogether. Its blades were still sharp and any grass that fell within its 20 inch width did not stand a chance. Here the grass clippings provide evidence of where the Scots is not cutting properly on the right side. I should mention that while these two units sell with a grass clippings catcher, neither pre-owned unit came with one. Flipping the handles on both, as seen here, allows the unit to be put in transport mode. This allows the unit to be moved without the blade spinning. Now it was time for the real test. I was going to mow half my backyard with each of the real mowers. First the Scots, and then I would lower by a half an inch the yard works and do the same half over again. You can see here with the Scots my inability to fully control the direction of the unit. It had a lot to do with the flimsy handle. I can only imagine it will get tougher when the blades get sharpened and press firmly against the cutting bar providing even greater resistance. Overall, the Scots got 90% of the job done and it did so without an ounce of gasoline used. It was now time to give the yard works a whirl. I decided to do a cross pattern on the same side of the backyard in hopes to get as many stragglers left behind by the Scots. Overall, both units are designed similarly. However, take a look at that handle. That's where the yard work shine. It really takes into account the taller individual and makes it much easier to control the unit. At some point the Scots Classic was redesigned with a similar handle. Overall, the yard works got 95% of the job done and included a free workout. Look at that lawn. Manicured with $75 worth of pre-owned manual real mowers. But this is a Dave Bach review, so you know you're going to get an honest review. And here's the rest of the story. Pushing a manual reel mower is a lot of work, and I like to enjoy the mow. You've heard of lawn therapy, right? If I wanted to work it out, I'd go to the gym. I'm also a big fan of the straight striping lines that a traditional lawn mower lays down. With a manual reel mower, I tend to get wavy tire markings and stragglers left behind. At the end of the day, the traditional lawnmower does the job in one twelfth of time and leaves very few stragglers. However, a manual real lawnmower will have a place in my arsenal of lawnmowers. Meet Tom. He's in charge of maintaining my small croquet court in the backyard. Thanks for watching another Dave Bach review.